Okay, this is the last problem for this session. I'll just so show you the solution for this item. You throw a 20 Newton rock vertically into the air from ground level. You observe that when it is at 15 meters above the ground, it is traveling at 25 meters per second upward. Use the work kinetic energy theorem to find A, the rock's speed just at its, as it, uh, sorry, just as it left the ground and B, its maximum height. So I'll just show you the solution since um, limited the timing of the satin. So, okay. So um, again, you have a uh, 20 Newton rock that's vertically into the air. At 15 meters, it's traveling at 25 meters per second. So um, let us assume, uh, so I'm going to use the kinetic energy theorem. So the question now is, what are the, what is the, what is or are for the forces acting, that, that do work, yung pala importante, that do work on the rock? Ano lang yan? Ano lang yung forces na nagmagawa ng work sa rock? Ano okay. lang yan? Yung weight lang, di ba? Wala namang ibang forces dyan. The answer is only, only weight. Siya lang yung tanging force at siya lang, therefore, siya lang yung tanging um, force na gumagawa ng work sa, sa object. Now, what is the work done by the weight? Ano yan? Ano yan? Remember, the direction of the object is upward. So, um, meron lang object dito Pataas yung kanyang velocity. If I set my positive x and my positive y to be right, like that, saan yung direction ng gravitational force? So, Siyempre, downward, di ba? So, gravitational force will act downward. And thus, what can we say about the work done by the weight? What can we negative. say? It should be negative, right? Because the direction of the displacement, which is signified by the direction of the velocity, uh, is anti-parallel to the direction of the weight. Therefore, ang lalabas dito is m, mg, s, cosine ni, cosine ni 180 degrees, which is just equal to minus m, g, s, where s is the displacement. So I'll change this to be minus m, g, quantity y, minus y naught. Okay, where y is the final displacement, and y naught is the initial um, displace, uh, initial position, sorry. So, now, we know that work of the weight is just equal to change in kinetic energy, which is just equal to final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. And uh, we know also that um, uh, at V equals, uh, if we will set that at, at the left of the ground is the one that's zero, so why not equal zero here? So why not this is just zero? The final position, y, is just equal to um, 25 meters. So, okay, so my 25 meters ka So y equals 25 meters. Um, v final is the velocity at that position. i sorry, y equals 15 meters. Sorry for that. The velocity is at 25.0 meters per second. So this is just equal to 1 half m. Um, Vf squared minus one half m vi squared. Now, given the new total weight, the total weight is equal to um, 20.0 uh, newtons. So I can determine the mass of the object and say that um, mass is just equal to the weight over nine of over g. Okay. So yeah, meron akong mga variables dito, meron akong weight dito. I, what I can only what I only need to do is to determine what VI is. So find VI. And I all, all already know the weight because alam ko na this is just minus MGY. So thus, this means that minus MGY equals one half M V final squared minus one half M V initial squared. And thus, um, uh, arrange, rearranging terms, I have a one half MVI squared equals one half M vf squared plus m gy and when i do that solving for vi we have vi equals square root of um uh uh vi equals square root um 2 over m quantity one half m vf squared plus m gy all in a square root and when we do that ang lalabas ay 30 0.3 meters per second. That is the answer. Okay? Nakuha to. I hope you get this. Medyo mabilis. Ang point lang is, um, negative yung magiging work 
Therefore, dapat, instead of bibilis yung object, babagal yung object. Which is true. Dapat, at a higher height, bumabagal yung object. Until it reaches the maximum height, wherein the velocity vanishes. Tama? Tama? Yes. Yes. Therefore, we expect that initially, it has higher speed. 30.3 meters per second to. Dun sa initial velocity niya, it's 25 uh, at some final velocity, it's 25 meters per second, which means that bumagal lang konti yung object. Okay? Sige. Now, letter B. What about the final? What is the maximum height? No? Why max? Ano ulit ang definition natin ng maximum height? Ano ibig sabihin pag nasa maximum height ang isang object? No? Ano nangyayari? Zero velocity. The velocity, in that case, the, horizon, the vertical component of the velocity is zero. So this means that um, V max is equal to zero. Um, so find y such that the final velocity is equal to zero. Now again, hindi natin gagamit yung kinematic equations. Ang gagamitin natin ay work kinetic energy theorem. So work at the maximum is simply um, minus mg y maximum, which is just equal to one half m v maximum squared minus one half m v initial squared. But we know that the v max equals zero, therefore this is also zero. And hence, this is negative, it will be both positive and say that um, implying that y max is just equal, the masses will cancel, therefore it's independent of the mass of the object, um, is just equal to vi squared over 2g. Tama? But alam natin na initial velocity niya ay um, 30.3 meters per second. So this is 30.3 meters per second quantity squared over twice the 9.81 meters per second. And hence, what, what we get here is about 46. Therefore, um, y max, therefore, y max is equal to 46.9 meters. That is our answer. Okay? So expect mo na mawawala yung velocity at a higher height, which is about 46.9 meters. So, questions? So, may tanong ba dito? Are there any questions? I hope there are. Wala naman ata, no? Sana wala. <laughs> okay? So, yun. Again, ang ginawa lang natin is we use the work ex exerted, work done by, by the gravitational force and related to the velocities to determine, for example, the final velocity, one of the, one of the quantities. I, sorry, initial velocity pala. Tsaka, in another case, we determine the we use winner work kinetic energy theorem to determine the maximum height, which is just the displacement from the initial height to some maximum height for which the final velocity vanishes. Yun yung ginawa natin sa problem na to. Okay? Questions? Questions? May tanong ba dito? None. None. Okay. 